Here's my thoughts for the new Steam Deck skins from JSOX. So first, let me show you what you get in the pack and how to install it, and then I'll give you my honest thoughts afterwards. So in the box, you actually get two sets of skins, which is actually really good, because if you absolutely make a complete mess of it the first time round, well then you've got <laughs> a second go, right? So I'm really happy that they sent two packs. I only actually used one and I sort of did the best I could. But yeah, you get two packs of the main body of the skin, but you only get one pack of the sort of like side grips, which are more like a foamy rubber, rather than the like vinyl skin that just goes everywhere else. Right, so the first thing you'll notice, which I'll come back to when I give you my opinions, is that the back piece is actually kind of of like all of the back, the tops and the bottom. So there's no screw cut out. So once you put this on, that's it. If you wanna take the back of your Steam Deck off, maybe you wanna upgrade your storage, maybe you wanna use one of JSOX's new colored back plates. Well, you can't leave this on your old back plate. You have to peel it off entirely. And there you go, because otherwise you can't get the back off. So the first thing I did was kind of aligned the top piece up. So I really carefully tried to peel it. And as I peeled it, I kind of creased the back a bit. I mean, I rectified this later on a little bit, but yeah, I was kind of sad that it like stretched a little, even though I was being really delicate. And yeah, well then I put the top piece on, aligned it and kind of like gently tried to rub the back into place which it pretty much did. But then when I got to the bottom to hook it round, I mean, my SD card slot is like misaligned, but everything else seems aligned right. So I don't know whether that's just a bad cut or if it is just user error. So, you know, I'm holding my hands up and saying, I've never done this before. I've never put a skin on anything. So this was my first time. So it's probably me messing up, right? But anyway, that was pretty difficult because by the time you've got to that point, you don't really want to be taking the entire thing off again because you've got more chance of stretching it and then having even more issues. And I didn't want to use, you know, the second one as well in case I messed that up. So I just rolled with it. So yeah, the uh, SD card slot didn't really align. And of course, what you need is a hairdryer. So you need a hairdryer to like heat up bits. So once I aligned it all, I got my hairdryer and just put it up over the top and the creases and really just tried to smooth it down. But then I noticed that I started getting bubbles in areas which didn't want to come out. The sort of stretch marks that I had earlier did mainly come out, but it has very like lightly left some marking there. But you know, there we go. So you use your hairdryer to sort of get the corners stuck down. So that's what I did. And then I moved over to the front piece so I actually went for, you know, the right hand side, the, the, the face button side first. And this, you know, I, I think I did really well here. It actually worked out quite well. You know, I kind of aligned it up with the screen. The first time I misaligned it ever so slightly. And then I, you know, got the hairdryer on to do the corners as well. And I think that went perfectly. And then the same with the other side where the D-pad is, that all went really well. But there are some sort of like creasing as it kind of overlapped the bottom part of the back skin you know the rest of the skin that i'd already applied so it did kind of like overlay on top of that and i was a little bit sad about that but you know it is what it is i'm pretty sure next i did the track pads so you know they're, they're easy that's the easiest part of all this and then i did the sort of grips on the side and again meh, they don't because they didn't put like the first bit on and then the second bit it's more creasing in the corners, you know, I would have preferred it if the like the faceplate bit was one bit and then the sort of back grip was another. I would have preferred that. And I even contemplated getting a Stanley knife and just doing it myself, but I didn't and I kind of wish I did. But, you know, there we go. So that went on OK. I mean, I aligned it all right, but it's pretty creased up. And on the right side, it doesn't really align very well. And that's, again, my my bad. Meh. So once I'd done that, I then put the stickers on the back. Now I left off the Steam sticker and the like options button stickers because I put the option button one on, but then when you pressed it, the sticker was like half like trying to pop off. And I was like, that's really gonna annoy me. So I just peeled them off and I just left it without that. So that was it. What do I have to say about it? Well, it took ages. Like it really took a long time, but I am a bit of a perfectionist. And that's probably why I'm kind of a little bit annoyed <laughs> with how it turned out. I think I did well for the first time I've ever put a skin on. But if you all think about doing this, 
and you've never put a skin on and you're not quite as meticulous or whatever, you, you might have some trouble. Now, I've heard horror stories about skins being difficult to apply. I think I did really well, considering this is the first time I've ever done it, something like this. But there are some niggles, uh, like the bubbles I just could not get out. I even got a like a needle and popped some of the ones on the back and then just hair dried it again and like pushed the air out. But now there's like creasing around where that bubble would have been. So it's kind of annoying. It's, it's difficult, you know? So... <laughs> If you're used to putting skins on and stuff, sweet, go ahead. If you like this, then like do it. If you're brand new to this, maybe think again or just make sure that you really, really go slowly. I felt like I was going at a considerable pace and it probably took me about 40 minutes to put this on and I still feel like I should have taken longer and I probably could have got it better. Obviously, you've got the second pack, so you know, you've got a second chance at it, but not on these grips on the side. Once you put them on, that's basically it. You could peel them off, but I don't know how well they'll go back on the second time. So yeah, I mean, after I put it all on, I just quickly hair dried it all, just so that it was definitely on there. But yeah, difficulty wise, this is more difficult than changing your SSD over, you know, which I've got a video on, by the way, if you want to know how to do that. But yeah, th this was more difficult, maybe because again, you're really trying to get it perfect, right? Now, the things I don't like, I don't like that the back is not separated from the top and the bottom. Now, I know why they've done this. It's purely for an aesthetics thing, right? You know, an aesthetics point of view. It looks nicer as one continuous back piece, but not only was it more difficult to install, it also means, like I said earlier, if you want to take apart your Steam Deck, well, you're gonna have to just rip the whole thing off. So that is kind of sad. I really wish it was separate. I really wish the top, the bottom, and the back were separate parts because I really want to use their transparent shell when it comes, you know, I, I want to get that on there. And I was thinking of using the green one to match the, you know, this skin so it'd look really cool. But I'm not really going to be able to do that because I'm going to have to peel off the front pieces here and all of the back, the top, and the bottom and it might just look a bit rubbish, you know? So I'll probably do it just to see what it's like, but pff, I don't know, that, that kind of made me sad. And the same with these grips on the sides. Like, I wish they were separate. Like, I wish it didn't smooth all the way around because it made it harder to install. And again, if you want to get that back plate off, you're going to have to remove these as well. So either get a Stanley knife or a Stanley blade and, you know, just cut it before you install it. That's probably what I'd recommend. So if you ever do want to take them off, well, then you've got that option. Whereas I didn't, I just went with it and they don't give you a second pair. So there we go. Uh, the front of it all went well. And overall, I think it looks really good. Like, you know, I, I do like this skin. It was just, I don't know, a little bit annoying, <laughs> you know? A few things I wish they just didn't do. And I know that they did it for aesthetic reasons, but I just would have preferred it if they didn't, you know? Now, how much is this? 16, 17 dollars? What's that in UK? Probably like 15 quid, maybe a little bit less. It's not too bad. If you're never planning on opening up your Steam Deck, then go ahead, like that's fine. But for me, I want to be able to get in and out of it, you know, and do stuff. I mean, I make videos, right? And this kind of isn't for me, really. So I'm going to leave it on for now because I do really like it. I think it looks cool, but it's just going to kind of become a nuisance in the future. And again, I'm kind of sad that I couldn't get these bubbles out. It's going to annoy me. I know it is. There we go. There we go. So what are your thoughts? Have you used one of these? Do you want to try out their new skins or whatever? Let me know down in the comments. And whilst you're there, make sure you subscribe and like this video and check out our podcast over here. So me and AJ do a podcast of all things gaming and check out that just here. Make sure you subscribe there. And of course, over here, we do other sort of more specific Steam Deck videos as well. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.